Good evening and roll tribe ICC fans and welcome to the first game of the 2022 half of the season as your 7-2 ICC Indians get set to reopen conference play tonight against the 7-2 Pearl River Wildcats. Hello everyone, I'm Adam Gore and I'm being joined by Mr. Jim Ingram here in the ICC Alumni Association and Foundation broadcast booth for the Davis Ford pregame show. Now, Jim, you have to go back a few years to find the last time these two teams met, and it was in the conference quarterfinals uh, back in 2020 where the Wildcats picked up a win over the Indians at East Mississippi. That was then. This is now. And both these teams are coming off an entire month off since their last game, so could see a little bit of rust play early on in this one. No doubt about it, Adam. The last time we played, I believe, was December 7th at Northeast. I remember you and I were there in a very competitive ball game. Unfortunately, we did lose that game. But it's been a month, mm -hmm. a lot of rust. You know, it's been a tough time during the year. A lot of sickness going around. We've got cold weather tonight. However, our, we've got two good teams here ready to play. And it should be a good game. As you mentioned, both teams seven and two. Looking forward to a very competitive basketball game. Pearl River is currently in a three-way tie for first place in the conference at two and zero. Oh. And then there's a big time log jam. ICC and seven other teams stand at one and one inside conference play. So a win tonight would go a long way for both teams. When we come back, we'll take a look at tonight's Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works starting lineups for both squads. You're watching ICC Basketball here on the ICC Sports Network. Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton. Call us at 662-862-3711 or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small town dealer Small town prices. Today tastes like a home game. Like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat. And like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team. Never tasted this good. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me, and the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance, and I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want, and I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to the Davis Ford pregame show. They've actually stopped the clock. Uh, we were going to say we're X amount of minutes away from the First American National Bank opening tip here between your ICC Indians and Pearl River Wildcats. But it looks like they're going to go ahead and try to get things started here a little bit early uh, this evening in Fulton. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you to the floor for the playing of the National Anthem and then come back, Mr. Jim, and let you give us tonight's Tupelo Coca-Cola uh, starting lineups for both squads. So let's take you to the floor now for the playing of the National Anthem.
And, Mr. Jim, let's go ahead and take a look tonight, starting the lineup, starting with Pearl River. Pearl River tonight, Jerron Wilkins, a 6'8 sophomore, Biloxi, starting at one forward. Earl Smith, guard, 6'4", from Jackson, Mississippi, Lanier High School. Cameron Brown, a 6'3", freshman from Hattiesburg High School. It's the other guard, starting at another forward, 6'4", 170 pounds, Dylan Brunfield from Oak Grove, Mississippi. And Ankerin Gross goes by the nickname of Noodle. Okay. It's starting tonight for them. 6'8 freshman, 200 pounds from Sardis, Mississippi, North Pentola High School. And for your ICC Indians tonight, starting Fred Cleveland, who leads the team 21 points a game, the 5'10 sophomore guard from Chicago, Illinois. Tyrone Mosley, the other 6'5 guard from Chicago, Illinois, second leading scorer at 13 points a game. Deshaun Berry, the 6'1 sophomore from Hulka, starts at the other guard. Starting tonight at forward, Rock Robinson, 6'6 freshman from Pontiac High School. And Walter Hamilton leads this in rebounds, seven a game, starting tonight, 6'9 from Potts Camp High School. And that's your Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works starting lineups for both squads this evening, ICC and Coke. Now that's a winning combination, and Coach Grant Pate hopes he's got that same winning combination put together tonight against the Wildcats. We're going to keep it here since we're just moments away from that first American National Bank opening tip here from Fulton. And, Mr. Jim, give me your thoughts on what the Indians need to do tonight to be successful. Adam, we always talk about we know that Grant Pate will come out and play good defense. Defense is the key tonight against a good Pearl River team, and we got to lead the team in rebounding tonight. we got to get the offensive board and defensive board. Defensive rebounds is the key tonight. Well, it will be easy to see which team is which tonight as you've got – Pearl River in their gold uniforms and ICC. Well, they're breaking out some new threads tonight as they've got on the all-white uniforms, a uh, small pinstripe down the side. And I tell you, Jim, uh, you look at the Pearl River team and it you think of a 90s Michigan type right. uniform. Good looking uniform, if you're right. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, then no, might not that's, be that's, good looking. That's okay. Notre Dame fan <laughs> coming out in me there. And the first American National Bank opening tip is controlled by Pearl River and ICC, who is only got nine on the, available on the roster tonight. They're going to start things out in the zone. And, Jim, that's one thing we talked about the Indians right. may have to do tonight in order to stay out of foul trouble. Shot clock is down to five seconds. Jumper's on his way. Don't know if that was partially blocked or not. They put the jumper mm. up, and then there's a foul. They let him fight for the basketball for quite a while. They did. Got bailed out one second on the shot clock, and we fouled the guy at him. So a tough break there for the end, as we talked about. Want to be careful. Fouls is going to be a factor tonight. You look down the sideline for Pearl River. They do have what looks to be maybe a full allotted squad across the way. So this is going to send Pearl River to the free throw line. First free throw is up in and good. This is Wilkins. At the charity stripe here for the Wildcats. Early goings in this one. Now, typically the Lady Indians would be in action at Pearl River tonight, but unfortunately the COVID bug has kind of bitten the Pearl River squad down there. So we do want to send our thoughts and well wishes out to the Lady Wildcat squad and hope they can recover and get everybody healthy and make a good run throughout the rest of the season. So our thoughts out there as well and Jim that's just gonna be part of the game this season is. for everybody is is it's just not going anywhere fast no it's not you got to adapt you got to do the best you can you got to play hard but you're gonna be short some people at times at night Indians with the basketball they also working as a zone defense long two-pointer up in and good as I believe that was number 10 yes was it Mosley. was Mosley with a nice start Tyrone of course is a sophomore for Chicago Illinois second leading scorer of the team averaging 13 points a game so once again, back in that zone defense, we've seen it out of both squads so far. Into the corner, Pearl River with it. Quick long two, back iron no good. Offensive rebound, put back is up, and the iron kind. As that was Brown who came flying in out of nowhere to be able to get that rebound. It rolled around for a second, but found its way through. And right now, Pearl River doing a good job of collapsing the board and Two trips down the floor, they've got two offensive rebounds. Good looking offensive team, Adam. They're 6'4", 6'5", 6'8". Very lean, but very athletic looking. Can all jump really well. Quick team. And that's one thing we also remember. This is a team not too far removed from that run they made in the national tournament. Of course, you only got two-year rosters here, but you know that's going to be a pride factor that Pearl River wants to continue to play with there. Inside out they go, Cleveland with the basketball. He's wanting to drive baseline. Was bumped, no foul call. Turnover gives the ball back now to the Wildcats. Pearl River wanting to push. Quickly up the floor, they go in the corner. ICC gets back nicely in transition defense. Thought about the baseline jumper. Ball fake goes inside, puts it up, and the shot no good. But another offensive rebound, and ICC wants a timeout. 
6-2 is your score. Pearl River dominating the boards here early. We're going to take a timeout here. We're from Little, C Little Caesars and be back with more right after this. One hot and ready classic. We actually changed it with... What? You've changed, Little Caesars. You've changed! They've changed, Balloon Bro. You've changed, Karate Man. <laughs> How can you dance during a time like this? You've changed. Ah! Tell me why. It tastes even better because we added 33% more pepperoni. Give me one of those. Walk in and walk out with a new Hot and Ready Classic with 33% more pepperoni. Pizza, pizza. And welcome back out of that timeout being brought to you by First American National Bank. They're a proud supporter of their local communities and ICC. They've got locations serving you from Iuka to Tupelo. Just follow the flag to the First American National Bank location nearest you. 6-2 is your score. Offensive rebounds for Pearl River has been the name of the game here. Wild shot put up, no good. So, Jim, we talked about it. Not very tall, not very big physically, but they're long, they're lean, and they're taking advantage of that right now against no, the Indians. No doubt about it, Adam. They're up 6-2. to two. we got 17-30 left in the first half. They've missed every shot coming down the court, but they followed it with rebounds, offensive rebounds, which got them the lead. So the Indians now going to a man-to-man -man defense, trapping in the paint. Thought about the short two. Wow, a lot of players hitting the floor there. No foul caught on ICC. Three-pointer from the corner is good. That is going to be number 10, I believe, Brown. Knocks that one down, and now ICC has got to find a basket in a big way here, this trip down the floor. ICC down 9-2, to two, 17 minutes left in the first half. Like you said, Adam, we've got to find a way to score here. Well, that was one thing we talked about in our Davis Ford pregame show was which team be able to shake off that rust early, and right now it is Pearl River. ICC just seems kind of out of sorts right now on the offensive end. Five seconds on the shot clock. Inside they go. Turn around, hook shot. Good. Big basket knocked down that time as it was Hamilton who gets the turnaround jumper to go and deep in that shot clock, it was able to get the shot to fall and Jim stops a little bit of that bleeding. It did. Great job by Walter. Another miss by the Wildcats, another offensive rebound and another putback. And that is going to be number 13, Brumfield. And I believe that's his fourth point of the game and also comes off two offensive rebounds i think they've got a total already six offensive rebounds they're up 11 to 4 16 10 left in the first half yeah rebounding a lot of people talk about skill but a lot of times rebounding comes down to want to so the indians have got to find a way to get those rebounds and not only get the rebounds but want those rebounds you got to want them like you said mm. yeah, there's an offensive foul shoved him that time as he drove to the basket diz mosley and i think mosley get a little frustrated after getting bumped a few times and didn't get the call so kind of retaliated and Nine times out of ten, that what happens. I'm going to show how old I am, Adam. Uh -huh. Offensive rebounds, wanting the rebound. Wes Unsell. There you go. Long time for Baltimore. Who was it, Bullets? Is that right? I believe so. And, of course, Dennis Rodman. Yes, that's a great that. rebounder. That was my guy there as the Indians finally forced a turnover, get it back. Fred Cleveland Jr. kicks it out to Mosley. Thought about the three. Now swings it back. He gets it back. He wants to eyes, tries, can't buy the three in the rebound. Reeled in by the Wildcats. Well, the Wildcats dominating the boards. That's the story here early on in the contest. They lead it 11 to four. Skip pass into the corner. Thought about the three. Now drives inside. Layup blocked. Big time defensive play there. Indians with back-to-back -back stops. Unfortunately, though, just can't find a way to turn it into points. Beautiful no-look pass, but a great job there. Don't know that Wilkins meant to get in the way of that pass, but he did, and there's a charge. Deshaun Berry, the pride of Hawka, stepping in there and taking that charge. Great job, Deshaun, because they had a three-on-one, Adam. They could have extended this lead. We got 15-09 left in the first half. Pearl River Wildcats 11, ICC Indians 4. You're watching the men's game. As Adam mentioned, unfortunately, the women's game that was going to be played at Pearl River is canceled tonight. And that one right now is declared a no contest and will try to be made up uh, later in the season if possible. Fred Cleveland Jr., he's been held scoreless so far in the contest. Indians leading scorer on the season. Trying to work one-on-one. -on -one. Step back, three-pointer on its way. Long, no good. And again, one and done go the Indians on the offensive end. Wildcats with it now. Looking to go to work. Didn't have numbers. Back to back out now. Wants to reset their offense. Into the corner they go. Three-pointer on its way. That one good. Earl Smith Jr., Nothing but the bottom of the net there. And, Jim, this is all Wildcats 
Indians struggling offensively. 14 to 4, like you said, it's rebound, offense and defensive rebound. We're going down, shooting one and done. We've got to make our shots at them. Nice ball movement there by the Indians. Three pointer, no good. Rebound being fought for, and there's going to be a foul on the rebound. And this is going to be on the Indians. That one's going to be called on Rock Robinson. Adam, we're down 14 to 4, 14 12 left in the first period, and we do not, I don't believe, have an offensive rebound in this ballgame. We have been one and done on a lot of these trips, and I know we keep harping on this, but that right now is the difference in the game, Mr. Jim, is the fact that uh, at least six offensive rebounds have been reeled in tonight and can turn into points by the Wildcats. No doubt, and they're shooting less than 50% from the field. They're just hitting the boards, getting rebounds. So the Wildcats with it, step back from the key, good. Boy, they can't miss right now. Carlos Williams gives the Wildcats their largest lead of the night now at 12. 16 to 4, 13 45 left in the first period. As Adam mentioned, 12 point lead for the Wildcats. Mosley goes inside. His shot no good. Rebound pulled down by guess who? The Wildcats. Pearl River. In yellow, ICC in white. Swinging around another three-pointer. It's good. My goodness. Carlos Williams. Comes off the bench. Got five quick points. Largest lead of the night. 19 to 4 Pearl River by 15 with 13-10 left in the first half. Well, it's cold outside, but it is not cold in the arena here for Williams as he has lit up the Indians. ICC trailing by 15. Need a basket in a big way, and that might be an understatement. Barry drives inside, kicks out, long two, good. Needed that one, Jim. Mayfield came off the bench, hit a big shot there. We needed, as you mentioned, Adam, 19 to six, Pearl River up with the ball, 12.45 left in the first half. So Pearl River, when they can get out and run, they do. When they can be patient on the offensive end, they do. And they've got a good inside out game as well as they have buried some threes. Now looking to go inside, nothing there. They kick it out into the corner. They go another three. That one off the mark, no good. And the Indians with a rare one and done trip down the floor that time for the Wildcats. Adam, we got to get Fred Cleveland going. He averages 21 points a game. He has not scored so far in this game. We've played nearly eight minutes in the first half. So the Indians with the basketball. Robinson wants the three from the corner. Bouncing, no rebound. Again, into the hands of the Wildcats. And there's going to be a foul whistle on Robinson. Robinson just couldn't quite get out of the way that time. And that's going to be his second. So we'll get a substitution coming in the game here for the Indians. Thompson is going to check in here for ICC. This substitution is being brought to you by the Sonic of Fulton. They're a proud supporter of ICC Athletics here on the ICC Sports Network. Remember, it's always happy hour. Thanks to the Sonic app, grab a half-price drink or slush anytime when you order from the Sonic app. Three-pointer, it's good. Cameron Brown now has eight points, 22 to six, 16 point lead for Pearl River, 1140 left in the first half. The Indians with the basketball. They're gonna spin it around. Mayfield looking like he wanting to go to work, drives inside, kiss off the glass, no. And again, the Wildcats control the boards. Quickly down the other end. That layup no good, but there's a foul on the Indians, I believe. And that's going to be the case there. Barry trying to take the charge, just a little bit too close to the basket that time. And this will send Pearl River back to the charity stripe. Jim, not the start the Indians were looking no, for. And, and I'm impressed with Pearl River. We mentioned they're not, you know, physically look like football players, they look like basketball yeah. players. They're athletic, they're long, they're lean, they're fast, they're quick, and they don't mind mixing up underneath either. They have got yeah. some good looking players. They can shoot and when they do miss tonight, they have been able to clean up the rebounds on their end as well as both free throws go there. Cameron Brown has 10 points, Adam, we have six. So he's outscored us so far, we've got to get going. It's 24 to six, Pearl River up by 18, 11, 15 left in the first half. ICC with the basketball. They're denying Fred Cleveland the ball at all cost, and it's working so far. As there's a jumper off the mark, no good. 18. Current lead is the largest of the game, coming up on 10 and a half to play here in the first half. Pearl River with the basketball. 
Oh, nice ball fake inside the go, but the shot was blocked. Good, good job there. Good hustle, Daniel Mayfield blocking the shot, playing good defense at him. We're still playing hard. We've got to start hitting shot shots, and we've got to get some stops. Yeah, that's the key is getting stops and converting those into points here for the Indians to be able to get back in this one. And there's a steal. Cleveland takes it away. He's going to drive inside. Layup is good for Fred Cleveland. Need to get him going, Adam. His first two points of the game, 24-8 to eight, Pearl River up. 10.30 left in the first half. Yeah, the Indians needed that in a big way there. Rock Robinson, he's getting set to come back in the contest. But he's got to be careful. He's already got two fouls on the evening. But as we talked about, ICC, very thin bench tonight as they've got a couple of guys unavailable due to health reasons. As a drive inside, ball taken away twice and then eventually lost. But then Pearl River finds it again and somehow turns it into points. Jim, when you see a play like that, sometimes you just got to say, guys, it's just not our half of basketball. Right, right now it's not. 26 to 8, 10 minutes left in the first half. Pearl River by 18. Fred Cleveland Jr. with the basketball. Looking to go to work. Drives inside. Kiss off the glass. No good. Iron oh so unkind there for the Indians. And that's been the case so far. That three-pointer off the mark. A rare rush shot that time by the no Wildcats. Doubt. And they didn't get an offensive rebound. We got it. So the Indians with it here, a chance to continue to creep back into this ball game. They've trailed as much as 18. Mosley drives inside, his shot blocked, late whistle and a foul called here. Let's see if they're gonna say it was on the shot or after the shot. And I won't say the Indians kind of caught a break there. We did Jim. because the defend, defender yeah. was trying to get out of the way. Good job of Mosley continuing to run into the yeah. defender. Yeah, he for sure created the contact there, and they're going to say it was – he must have said it was before the shot. It's the same officials that call the Tennessee football game. <laughs> no matter when the whistle blows, it's just when they meant to blow the whistle. <laughs> oh. So 26-8 to eight is the score. ICC with the basketball. 18 seconds on the shot clock, 9-18 to go here. In the first half, a first half that has been long to Pearl River. And there's a shot of foul. And Jim, a good looking shot there. Daniel Mayfield has been a spark for the Indians coming off the bench. One of those though, if you're ICC, you need that shot to fall and see if you can't pick up some three point plays the old fashioned way. I agree, but he, he stopped the momentum, slowed the game down a little bit and maybe hit these free throws when we set up our defense. First free throw rattles in good there. For Mayfield, 6'8", freshman out of, uh, excuse me, Georgia. Franklin Prep High School. Second free throw, that one bouncing around, no good. Two Pearl River Wildcats fighting over the rebound. Wildcats with it now, they send it back outside. Inside they go with it. Going to work one-on-one. -on -one. Kicks it out, oh nice, move to the basket and count it. I really like this style of play we're seeing out of Pearl River. They recognize where the help defense comes from, and they fill that spot with their backside guards, and you get a lot of easy layups. Not that one was easy. It was contested, but you get those high percentage shots, and they have just executed that offense extremely well tonight. Very unselfish ball club. Three-point blade converted the old-fashioned <laughs> way there. As that was Broomfield. Largest lead of the night, 29-9 Pearl River up. ICC's got the ball, 8.45 left in the first half. Mayfield with the basketball, trying to no-look pass. Ball slapped away, and it's going to go out of bounds. Last touch by the Wildcats. Again, that's what we talk about, long and lean, where they're able to take up space in the paint on passes like that that a lot of times gets through because you don't get there quick enough, but you got that extra five or six inches of reach there. You're able to defend a whole lot more space than you normally are. Also, a very well-coached team, Adam. You can tell they're well-coached. <clears throat> so, got to get it in, and they just do so as a substitution into the game. Standerford for ICC checks in. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Mosley going to have to try to go to work here. Fall away jumper from the baseline. Bouncing around. No good. Rebound tipped around. And the Wildcats come away with it. Stop me if you've heard that before. <laughs> and they're going to drive, and they're going to say ball out of bounds. Last touched. So... One of those whistles, you just wait to see what was going to be right. called. I thought it was good defense on the Indians. 
Eight, Adam, yeah. go ahead. There's 8.15 left in the first half. We've got to make a run here. We're down 29-9. to nine. So the Indians with the basketball. We're working around. Mosley looking to go to work. Fall away jumper. It's up. Bouncing no good. And another rebound. Boy, Pearl River, I wish we had the stats to look at. They have dominated the boards here in the first half. And they've dominated the three-point shooting as well. Another one knocked down there, and ICC needs a timeout. It's all Pearl River in this one, folks. We're going to take a break here from Renaissance Bank and be back with more right after this. Playing on tour takes years of dedication, hours of practice, focused precision, and nerves of steel. That's how you become great at the game, but not how you should bank. That's why Ali Ewing chose Renaissance Bank. Their easy to use app makes banking a breeze, no matter where she is. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Welcome back out of that timeout being brought to you by the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. The Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi is your preferred choice for orthopedic care. Stop by 499 Gloucester Creek Village or give them a call at 662-205-5282. That's 662-205-5282 to set up your appointment today. Well, Jim, we talked about it during the break. We don't know that ICC has an offensive rebound all night. And that has just been the key to the game. It's just been the dominance of Pearl River on the boards. Robinson nearly had a chance to throw down that putback. I think he tipped it up and he when did. he grabbed the rim, might have caused that one to miss. Could have been offensive goaltending, actually. So the Indians need to finish this 724 of the first half extremely strong. They trail this one by 23. As Adam mentioned, 32 to 9. Pearl River up 7-10 left in the first half. Rock going to work. Good job on the help defense. Now Barry goes inside, leaves it underneath. Layup is good. Nice ball movement there by the Indians. Best offensive procession of the entire game. Good job. <coughs> what a pass the ball, Indians. Makes it a 32-11 contest inside seven minutes to play here in the first half. Pearl River, nice no-look pass. Easy layup, and man, forgive the pun, but when it rains, it pours, and it's been raining lately, but right now it's pouring on the Indians, and it's the Wildcats offense that's doing it, 34 to 11. Inside the Indians go, jumpers off the mark, no good, and another rebound. One and done, go the Indians yet again. Mm. We had a steal, went in for the layup, and missed it at him. Unfortunately, now Pearl River's got the ball back. They're leading 34 to 11, 6 10 left in the first half. Yeah, that uh, transition right there kind of perfectly sums up how the first half has gone for the Indians. As this time they kick it into the corner, another three pointer on its way. That one off the back iron, no good. Rock Robinson looked like he was held trying to get to the rebound, but he was able to chase it down and get it back for the Indians. Adam, we're down 34 to 11, but we're still hustling, playing hard. We just got to start making some shots here. Remind you to stay tuned for the Little Caesars Halftime Report. We'll have some Sonic stats and more coming your way, part of the Little Caesars Halftime Report here. And we've got a bumping foul before the shot. Right now, Indians just trying to find a set of five players on the floor that can just kind of mesh and get something going offensively. And that just hasn't been the case so far from the Indians in the first half. Lob it in just before the five second count. Fred Cleveland Jr.'s three off the mark, no good. And another rebound for Pearl River. 34 to 11, Pearl River with the ball with a big lead to 525 left in the first half. Again, we talk about they're able to get out and run. But then when they want to set up their front court offense, they can do that pretty well as they're looking for that backside lob. Indians take it away. Ten seconds now on the shot clock. Driving inside. Ball loose on the floor. Barry dies for it and keeps it alive for the Indians. Cleveland drains it. We got to get Fred going, Adam. 34-13, five minutes left in the halftime. So Indians going a little bit of a run now, trying to climb their way back into this one. Pearl 
Pearl River with the basketball. Long two off the mark, no good. And the Indians with the rebound. So now they're going to give it back to Cleveland. Well, the Indians doing a good job. Last three possessions have forced the Wildcats to go one and done, something that hasn't happened too often tonight. Robinson with the basketball. Now gives it back to Cleveland. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Bounces it inside. The Indians have to go to work. Fall away. Off balance two. No good. No white shirts in the paint that time to get after the rebounds. 34-13. 4.05 left in the first half, and Adam, Adam, we still do not have an offensive rebound tonight. Wildcats with the basketball. Swinging around now, looking to go inside. Ball fake, shot it's up in a good, tough basket. But a nice job staying strong and finishing there by Wilkinson. Wilkins, excuse me, Jerry and Wilkins. There's a couple of Wilkins on the yeah, team. Yeah, they, they do. They got Jerron and Jerry and Wilkins. So the Indians with the basketball now, trailing 36 to 13, three and a half to play until halftime. Robinson for three, that went off the mark, no good. And Jim, I think you're starting to see the frustration set in for ICC. Nobody really moving that time on offense. A lot of guys standing around watching and had to force up that three and just kind of been the tail of the tape here for the yeah. Indians in the first half. You're right, Adam. We got to play hard this last three and a half minutes of the first half. It's 36 13. It's been all Pearl River, but we got to play hard, find a way to get back into the ball game. Indians have come out of that zone now, running man to man defense. Baseline jumper on its way. That went off the mark, no good. And the Indians with the rebound. Mayfield has been a spark off the bench for the Indians tonight. Daniels played well tonight, coming off the bench. Got to get Cleveland going. He's got four points. He's our leading scorer on the team, averaging 21 points a game. And he's got the ball right now. Again, three minutes left in the first half, 36-13 Pearl River. Robinson now drops it off to Barry. Barry's wanting to drive inside. Goes up, good block shot there. Tough defense from Pearl River. And they get it back now, trying to rush it up the floor. Looking to go inside with it, nobody there. A little ISO offense, kick it to the backside. Driving inside into the corner they go. Three-pointer on its way, good. But when they can't get it going inside, they can get it going outside, and they've got it going tonight as that one knocked down there by Gross. Makes it a 39-13 contest. 210, excuse me, 215 left in the first half, 39 to 13. It's been all Pearl River here. Largest lead of the night here. As Junior nails it. Needed that. No doubt about it. Fred Cleveland now. They got seven points leading the team, 39 to 16. Two minutes left in the first half. Wildcats with the basketball. Indians staying in that man to man defense. Going to work inside. Ball taken away, but able to get it back, though. Three pointer on its way. That one good. They just cannot miss. As a timeout taken by Pearl River. You see the score, we'll take a break and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. Hey Indian fans, I'm Ricky Murphy, real estate agent Tommy Morgan Realtors, and I'm also a proud alumni of the All-American Marching Band. Itawamba Community College was my home for two years, and where you decide to make your home will be one of the most important decisions of your life. Whether you're looking to create a plan to buy your first home, or if you're ready today to make a move into your forever home, give me a call or send me a message so we can discuss your next move. And for my family, Roll Trav! And welcome back. Is that timeout being brought to you by the ICC Alumni Association? We invite you to visit iccms.edu slash alumni. That's iccms.edu slash alumni to find out how you can help support Itawamba Community College by becoming a member of the ICC Alumni Association. 136 to go until halftime. It's been all Pearl River, and that might be an understatement. Adam, they played outstanding. We played hard. We just hadn't played well, and they, they've taken it to us so far in the first half. Now the Wildcats getting out in the open floor. That shot's up, and count the basket as that will be goaltending on the Indians. Here's the thing, though. As an ICC fan looking at this ball game right now, I don't mind that effort out of ICC. No, I don't either. It, you go 10, that means you're you're engaged in the ball game. You're playing hard. And we all, all you can ask right now, pin down 44 to 16 in the first half against an outstanding team. 
is play hard. See what happens. You might not win this game, but play hard and make some plays. So Frank Cleveland Jr. with the basketball to Barry. Back outside now to Barry. He's kind of directing traffic, drops it off to Mosley. Adam, they brought Brian Steen in for the first time tonight. Runner is good for Mosley. Mosley's got four points, 44 to 18, Pearl River with the ball, 45 seconds left in the half. So Pearl River with it now, wanting to go to work, nothing there, kicks it out, thought about the three. Long two instead, it's off the mark, no good. Steen with the rebound. So the Indians with the basketball, there's about five seconds difference in the shot clock and the game clock. As Fred Cleveland Jr. wanted to drive inside, good defense by the Wildcats, forces him back outside to reset. Make it closer to six seconds difference in the game clock and shot clock. Good help defense, forcing Cleveland to get rid of the basketball. Two seconds on the shot clock. We'll have to do something. Goes inside. Shot is up. It's blocked. And that will be a shot clock violation. He did not get it off, Adam. That's what the referee's yep. saying. So it's Pearl River's ball with five seconds left in the half. So Pearl River making some quick substitutions here. Jim, I was I wasn't going to try to sound funny or mean, but I was like, you know, if you can get this thing to 20 by halftime, you know, you got to feel good if you're ICC. They had a chance to do that. They just couldn't do so as add a little bit extra time to the clock. And Pearl River's going to rush it down the floor. Three-pointer on its way. That one off the mark, no good. I like it. Rock just tried to get it down the floor to yep. see if he can accidentally make something happen there. As we're going to take a break. Your score here is Pearl River 44, ICC 18. Back with more right after this. One hot and ready classic. We actually changed it with... What? You've changed, Little Caesars. You've changed! They've changed, Balloon Bro. You've changed, Karate Man. <laughs> How can you dance during a time like this? You've changed! Ah! Tell me why. It tastes even better because we added 33% more pepperoni. Give me one of those. Walk in and walk out with a new Hot and Ready Classic with 33% more pepperoni. Pizza, pizza. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Want to make a good living? Come learn a skill at Max Home. Upholstery trainees start at $15.50 an hour. Our upholsterers average $23 an hour and can make above $28 an hour on production. We're also offering a $500 sign-on bonus to experienced upholsterers. Max Home is hiring for all positions and is willing to train quality people. Max Home makes all their custom-built products in the USA. Join the best. Train with the best. Be the best. Max Home, Bolton, Mississippi, and Max Home, Sullivan, Alabama. One hot and ready classic. We actually changed it with... What? You've changed, Little Caesars. You've changed! They've changed, Balloon Bro. You've changed, Karate Man. <laughs> How can you dance during a time like this? You've changed! Ah! Tell me why. It tastes even better because we added 33% more pepperoni. Give me one of those. Walk in and walk out with a new hot and ready classic with 33% more pepperoni. Pizza, pizza. And welcome back to the Little Caesars Halftime Report here from the Davis Event Center. It's been all Pearl River. They're up 44-18 to 18 here at the break. And we'll take a look at some first-half stats here presented to you by the Sonic of Fulton. Leading Pearl River tonight, Cameron Brown has 12 points. Williams came off the bench, has seven. Brumfield has seven. Noodle Gross has three. Earl Smith Jr. has six. Jerron, the Wilkin brothers, Jerrion had two. Jerron had four. And Jerry Curry had three. That's 44 points. Leading the Indians tonight, Fred Cleveland, our leading scorer, has seven tonight. Tyrone Mosley, second leading scorer, has four tonight. Walter Hampton has four, and Daniel Mayfield came off the bench, has three. And that's it. It's 44-18, Pearl River, all over our Indians here at halftime. 
Yeah, you know, we talked about it in the Davis Ford pregame show. We we wondered, you know, what would that month layoff do for both these squads? Well, for ICC, it's evident. The offense just hasn't been clicking. But for Pearl River, boy, they are clicking almost in mid-season or late-season form. Uh, when they can't get out and run, they slow it down, set up their offense. They move inside-outside. Um it works when you're hitting the threes, and they're hitting a lot of those tonight as well. So Pearl River looks like they haven't missed a beat coming off the break. No doubt about it, Adam. <clears throat> they play very well. We mentioned how athletic they are, how tall, how thin they are. They move extremely well. They're hitting their shots. And we mentioned earlier, when you have a big lead, it's easy to put up a three-pointer because you yeah. feel like it's going to go in. <clears throat> Give them a lot of credit. Again, we have not had any offensive rebounds. They've controlled the board. They've controlled the entire game. Got to play with pride in the second half, see if you can chip away at this lead. 44-18, Pearl River with the lead in this one. We'll take a break, hear a few more words from our sponsors, and come back with more Little Caesars Halftime Report right after this from Fulton. One hot and ready classic. We actually changed it with... What? You've changed, Little Caesars. You've changed! They've changed, Balloon Bro. You've changed, Karate Man. <laughs> How can you dance during a time like this? You've changed! Ah! Tell me why. It tastes even better because we added 33% more pepperoni. Give me one of those. Walk in and walk out with a new Hot and Ready Classic with 33% more pepperoni. Pizza, pizza. Why didn't you answer your phone? You're not going to believe what just... You brought a Coca-Cola with zero sugar? Yeah. Why? Come on, it has zero sugar. Yep, and it's delicious. I don't believe it. Just try something new. You'll love it. This does taste great. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. In Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders. This is how we Sonic. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me. And the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance. And I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want, and I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. The Wildbuck Community College is proud to present to you the 2019 ICC All-American Marching Band. We are thrilled to perform for you this year's program, The Evolution of Gaming, featuring music from some of the most popular video games of our time. We open our program this evening with the music from the 1980 Atari game, Space Invaders. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the ICC All-American Marching Band! Sega game, Sonic the Hedgehog, featuring Parasia Dunlap.
continues with the music from the 1992 video game, Mortal Kombat, featuring our percussion. One hot and ready classic. We actually changed it with... What? You've changed, Little Caesars. You've changed! They've changed, Balloon Bro. You've changed, Karate Man. <laughs> How can you dance during a time like this? You've changed. Ah! Tell me why. It tastes even better because we added 33% more pepperoni. Give me one of those. Walk in and walk out with a new hot and ready classic with 33% more pepperoni. Pizza, pizza. Age-related macular degeneration is the leading cause of severe vision loss in adults over the age of 50. Symptoms are gradual loss to see objects clearly. Objects appear distorted in shape. Darker, empty areas appear in the center of your vision. In a comprehensive eye exam, your optometrist will perform a variety of tests to determine if you have macular degeneration. For questions or concerns, call Cagle Eye Center in Fulton at 862-EYES. Providing professional, comprehensive eye care to the people of Itawamba County and the surrounding areas. Cagle Eye Center. Dot com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready to start the second half of play. ICC, well, got a little bit of work to do here. They're trailing 44 to 18 at the break. Adam Gore, Jim Ingram bringing this action as quick three put up by the Indians. And again, the board's controlled by Pearl River. That was the story of the first half and starts the same way here in the second half. Jim. What do you we want to see out of the Indians here in the second half? Adam, let's be honest. We're down 44 to 18 against a very good basketball team. I just want to see a lot of effort. A lot of effort, you know, trim away at the lead, play hard, listen to the coach. We'll play better this half, but show a lot of effort tonight and see what we can do and cut this lead down, Adam. So Pearl River with the basketball, man. They look sharp and very impressive in that first half. Three-point basket on its way, and it's good. Starting off where they Left off and buries another three. That was Noodle Gross hitting another three. He's got six points for the ball game. It's 46 to 18, all Pearl River at this time. Indians with it. Frank Cleveland Jr. lost the basketball, turnover into the hands of the Wildcats. They get it out. Thought about the three. Now they said they're going to drive it inside. Out they go. Now they want the three on the opposite end. That one's good. They cannot miss from outside, and ICC wants a quick timeout. Timeout on the floor. We're going to take it with them. Let's hear from Davis Ford and be back with more right after this. Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton. Call us at 662-862-3711 or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small town dealership, small town prices. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. And welcome back out of that timeout. That timeout being brought to you by the Bank of Oklahoma. John Herod and all the fine folks out at the Bank of Oklahoma is proud to help bring tonight's action your way here on the ICC Sports Network. They're located at 227 West Main Street there in Oklahoma. You can visit bankofoklahoma.com for more information. 
Jim, we talked about the Indians needed a hot start. Well, Pearl Rivers got that hot start. They, what we thought was a three-pointer in the corner earlier, they said his foot was on the line, so it was only two. But there's a steal and a layup on the other end, and it's all Pearl River coming out of that timeout by the Indians there. It's 51-18. They've scored the first seven points of the second half, Adam. We've got to start playing. Uh, <clears throat> keep playing hard, chip away at this lead, but give Pearl River a lot of credit. There's a running layup up in and good for the Indians. ICC needed that one in a big way. Mosley with the basket. He's got six points. 51 to 20. Pearl River with the ball with the lead. 17.55 left in the ball game. Turn around. Hook shot is up in and good. That one looked easy there. As that was Wilkins with the basket. One of the Wilkins brothers. Another two. 53 to 20. All Pearl River, Adam. That's <clears throat> That's all you can say. And, and Jim, you know, we're not derogatory in any way. We're going to support the Indians all the way through, but you said it. For ICC, this is gut check time. We're going to find out what type of team this is made of. Are the odds in your favor you're going to come back and win? Absolutely not. But you fight, you play hard, you stick to your offense, and you, you play to get better for the next game. No doubt about it. And Coach Pate, Coach Bozeman is going to watch these next few minutes here to see if we play hard. Don't get your head down. Got to have good body language. Lay up on his way, and that one's good. Cameron Brown leading the team with 14 points for Pearl River. The score is 55 to 20. All Pearl River, 17-10 left in the ball game. Yeah, that's one of those things. ICC, you know, I don't know if I hand them a dollar if they could buy a bucket right now. And <laughs> Pearl River, they, they're just getting everything to fall. And unfortunately, you run into nights like that, and there's going to be a whistle. I don't know if this is away from the basketball or... We're actually going to call a hand check foul there on Smith of Pearl River. I didn't really see that. I didn't either. His second foul of the ball game. So Fred Cleveland Jr. with it, puts it into the corner. Three-pointer good for the Indians. Sean Berry, we needed that, Adam. Berry steps and knocks that three-pointer down, makes it a 55-23 contest. Coming up on 16 and a half minutes to play in this one. Backdoor lob, and they made that look easy. A lot of standing around watching on defense there by the Indians. Brumfield, who's come off the bench for Pearl River, has nine points tonight. 57-23, all Pearl River. Barry with the basketball. And, Jim, here's what here's the thing, you know. We're, we're talking like ICC is just ice cold from the floor. Let's don't discredit this Pearl River defense tonight. Oh, no doubt about One, it. They've, they've kept the Indians off the board. I don't know if we've got an offensive rebound so far in the contest. We, we haven't. And they've contested every one of our shots tonight. So it's not like it's just us playing bad. It's also Pearl River's defense playing lights out. Turnaround shot is off the mark. No good. We've got a foul. And this one's going to be over the back, I believe. I know they're going to call a pushing foul on Smith. His third, Adam. And that's going to be his third foul. And any other time, you might sweat that a little bit, but <laughs> right. not tonight. Matter of fact, Smith may go to the bench for the final time tonight and just enjoy the rest of this one here. So 57-25 is the score. We want to say a special hello to those, all those of the ICC family watching, but also want to say a special hello to those watching in favor of Pearl River tonight. As there's... Hamilton with a turnaround jumper, finds its way through, makes it a 30-point contest. 57-27, Hamilton leading the Indians tonight in scoring. He has eight points. River with the basketball, wanting to spin inside. That shot is up, no good, and they're going to call Fred Cleveland Jr. with a foul, and didn't necessarily like he agreed with that one, but got him across the arm, and they're going to send him to the free throw line. This is going to be Jerry... Jerrion Wilkins going to the charity stripe. Wilkins has two points so far tonight, shooting two from the free throw line. 57-27 Pearl River. That first free throw is good. So winning the second attempt here for the Wildcats. And gets them both. Substitution coming into the game here. This substitution being brought to you by the ICC Baptist Student Union. They meet Monday nights at 7.07. They're located across the street from the Student Service Building here in Fulton. 
Follow them on Twitter at ICCBSU. That's ICCBSU. Rock goes inside, and they're going to call an offensive foul on Rock Robinson. Uh, I didn't see that. I'm going to have to disagree with that. They probably I, don't care what I think, yeah. but I, I thought he got fouled himself. I'm going to say, if anything, a travel, but not an offensive foul. If that's an offensive foul, that's, that's pretty darn weak. But we digress. Pearl River with the basketball. That's kind of been tell the tape. You know, we talk about that, you know, when things are going your way, when you're playing well and you're getting some of the breaks. That's some of the breaks you're getting. You're going to go your way, too. Well, there's a makeup call on the other end as they're going to call that one on number 10 on the rebound. As that one called on Cameron Brown, who did not jump to get the rebound that time, and they call him for over the back. So a good old old fashioned makeup call there. Indians with it. Barry driving inside now kicks it back out. Fred Cleveland with the basketball now. Step back, long two. Yes. Big basket there and just able to get that shot to fall. And that's what you need right now after ICC. You want to find some rhythm, some identity on offense to carry over to next week. That shot no good, but hello. Big time put back and a timeout taken by Pearl River. Timeout on the floor. Let's take it with them. Let's hear from Max Home and be back with more right after this. Want to make a good living? Come learn a skill at Max Home. Upholstery trainees start at $15.50 an hour. Our upholsterers average $23 an hour and can make above $28 an hour on production. We're also offering a $500 sign-on bonus to experienced upholsterers. Max Home is hiring for all positions and is willing to train quality people. Max Home makes all their custom-built products in the USA. Join the best, train with the best, be the best. Max Home, Bolton, Mississippi, and Max Home, Sullivan, Alabama. So when are you gonna give me back for the pizza? Oh, personal foul. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make a successful handoff when you transfer funds to friends and family with Zelle and the Renaissance mobile app. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24-7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today. And welcome back out of that timeout. That timeout being brought to you by the ICC Wesley Foundation. They meet Tuesday nights right across the street from us here on the Davis Event Center. Follow them on Instagram at ICC Wesley. Jim, that was a big time powerful put back and a timeout taken there by Pearl River. Now ICC wants to go inside with it. Shot is off the mark, rattles in and out, no good. And again, Pearl River just continues to dominate the boards. Dominate the boards. Adam, we've talked about this, but uh, 14 minutes left in the ball game. We do not have an offensive rebound. And that shot found its way through there. That's Curry getting the wild shot to fall. Indians with the basketball. Cleveland with it now, working up top. Barry goes inside. Walter back outside to Barry. Over to Cleveland. Barry wants the three. That one no good. And their offensive rebound, a rare one for the Indians, turns into a three-pointer for ICC. Nice job. Way to hit the boards, Indians. Fred Cleveland now leading the team with 12 points, 63-32. Pearl River with the lead with the ball, 13-10 left in the ball game. And then there's a steal by the Indians. Barry wants to go coast to coast. The layup is good. Well, ICC starting to show a little bit of life here. That's what we wanted to see, Adam. We wanted to see them hustle, play hard, and the coaches want to see that. And that shot, a good answer on the other end for Pearl River to stop what was a little bit of bleeding. They're able to get back and get that shot to fall there. 65-34, all Pearl River with ICC with the ball. 12 and a half minutes left in the ball game. Indians go with that high-low set. Pearl River covers it up nicely. Mosley with the basketball, working with 10 seconds. Pull up long two off the mark, no good in the rebound. Corralled by Pearl River. Jim, do you think it's safe to assume that Pearl River two to one offensive or two to one rebounding edge over the Indians I, right I think now. it's very safe Adam they've really hit the boards we're very impressed with Pearl River no doubt about it they're very well coached 
good basketball team. Nice extra pass, layup partially blocked there. Great hustle by Fred Cleveland Jr. And now ICC on the other end, that shot is up no good. Partially blocked on the other end by Pearl River. Good hustle there in transition. I believe that was Wilkins that got the block for the Wildcats. And then there's a steal, Mosley. Goes up and his layup is good. He was one of those, I didn't know if he was gonna to try to go up with some authority. The defense closed in in a hurry, wisely lays that one in. Jim, it's inside 30. Good hustle by the Indians, playing hard here in the second half. There's a foul on the baseline there. That was gonna go, I believe, against Cleveland on the play, so to come up on some free throws. And so this will send Broomfield, Brumfield, to the charity stripe here for the Wildcats. Left the first one short. Substitution coming in the game. This substitution is being brought to you by our friends over at Samstown Market. Sam Ferris and the rest of the crew at Samstown Market proudly serves some of the best meats and produce around, along with a wide variety of specialty items. Stop by and visit Samstown Market, located right there in the heart of Mantacha. You can follow them on Facebook by searching Sam's Town Market. Neither free throw good. That might have been one of the first miscues we've seen tonight. No doubt about it. I'm, I'm surprised by that. So the Indians with the basketball. Fred Cleveland Jr. with it now. Wanting to work one-on-one. -on -one. Goes inside. His shot is up. No. Couldn't get the spin off the top of the backboard, but he does draw the foul. And he'll go to the line here to shoot two. We do want to remind you, ICC will be back in action next week. The ASU Mid-South game right now tentatively set to be made up on Tuesday. So we'll uh, try to get that confirmed over the weekend. Uh, I think they're basically is confirmed. We're just trying to confirm referees for the game. Got you. Unless you want to referee it, Jim. I, if they'll let me, I'll try. I'll, I'll referee from up here. <laughs> I'm not going we, to, we've got our opinion about several yeah. calls, and we'll let them know. Matter of fact, I'll referee the game. Let some referees <laughs> come up here and, and call, call the game. game. That way they can talk bad about me. <laughs> As Fred Cleveland knocks down both those free throws. Adam Fred's leading us tonight in scoring. He's got 14 points. 65-38, 11 minutes left in the ball game. Pearl River's up. And over and back is the call there as ICC jumps out in the press and kind of surprises Pearl River there. And they force a rare turnover tonight. Adam, we're still hustling. That's what we want to see. I'm proud of the team hustling hard here in the ball game. 11 minutes to play now. ICC trailing at 65 to 38. Try to force it inside, nearly taken away by Pearl River. And the Indians get it back. Mayfield just had the ball Bounce away from him, almost like it hit a spot on the floor and went the opposite direction that he was going. And now Pearl River with the basketball. They're going to set up their offense. Turn around jumper, bouncing around, no good. Rebound being fought for, jump ball. And that's going to be a possession arrow, I believe, in favor of Pearl River. And it will be. Jim, I don't have my schedule here in front of me, or do I? Yeah, ICC, the men, will head to Cahoma on Monday. That means the Lady Indians will be here at 5.30 on Monday. So we do encourage you to come out. That ASU Mid-South game, as we talked about on Tuesday. And then the men will be back home against East Central at 5.30 on Thursday. We'll go ahead and say this, weather pending. Correct. Actually pending period on any of our schedules. We do invite you to visit letsgoicc.com. We've got our baseball, softball, tennis, and golf schedules available there. As loose ball on the floor and the Indians come away with it. Baseball, softball, and tennis getting fired up at the end of the month as this ball just is misbehaving on both sides of the floor. Didn't want to go to anybody. Three-pointer on its way, why not? Brown drills that three-pointer. Jim, that could be an interesting stat at the end of the night, how many threes right, they no, knocked I down. wish we had that. Cameron Brown now has got the leading score in the ball game. He's got 19 points leading Pearl River and leading everyone. Indians with it. Inside they go, looking to go to work. Nothing there. Barry with it now. 
Cleveland kicks it out. Baseline jumper on its way. Good. Hamilton drills that one. And the Indians have made it a 28-point ball game. Uh, people are going to be like, wow, really? But that's pretty significant considering they were down at one point, what, 36? I believe so, Adam. <clears throat> so the Indians are slowly but surely chipping their way back into this. That's what we wanted to see. We wanted to see what kind of fight the Indians had them here in the second half. And they're showing some of it here. Long two-pointer on its way. That one no good. Rebound grabbed by Mosley. Nine minutes to play now. Fred Cleveland Jr. drives inside, draws some contact, no foul called. Three-pointer on its way, that one off the mark, no good, and an offensive rebound for Pearl River, and they're going to back it out here and work some clock. 68 to 40, Pearl River with the ball, with the lead, 8.35 left in the ball game. Drive inside, ball fake, and gets it to go, Curry with the basket. Good ball fake that time. Got a couple of guys up in the air. Was able to let them clear and got the easy layup. Adam is 70 to 40, but we scored 18 points for the entire first half. We've already up to 40 with eight minutes left in the ball game. Drive inside, count the basket. Good job there, just getting the hard contact and muscling it up and getting it to fall. And a chance at a three-point play here the old-fashioned way for Tyron Mosley, Ty Mosley, as he likes to be called. And that's uh, Jerrion Wilkins' third foul for the Wildcats. So a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way here. It's up and good. Mosley converts it. And ICC trails this one 70 to 43. Indians want to come out in the press here. It caused a turnover last time. Pearl River able to get up and get it across just before the 10-second count. Now they swing it around into the corner they go. Inside the paint. And again, good patience. ICC being aggressive, trying to block shots. Pearl Rivers recognize that. They get the Indians to bite on the ball fake, and it turns into an easy layup. Makes it a 72-43 contest. Mosley with the basketball. Wants to lob this one inside to Steen, taken away there. And now Pearl River out in transition. That layup, and they're going to call a blocking foul. Good call as Mosley started to lean backwards before the contact got there. And so this will send Pearl River to the free throw line. 72-43, Pearl River up. Shooting free throws, 724 left in the ball game. I want to remind you some more of our sponsors tonight. If you're looking for your next new or used automobile, stop by and see all the fine folks there at Davis Ford to experience the Davis Ford difference. You can visit them at 904 West Main Street right here in Fulton. Eh, I'd say probably a strong pitching wedge here from the Davis Events right, for Jim right. for Jim Ingram. Other sponsors, Ricky Murphy, Tommy Morgan, real estate agent. Ricky Murphy reminds ICC fans and you Pearl River fans as well when you're ready to make your next move, maybe to your next dream home or maybe like Mr. Jim, you want to pick up a summer home. <laughs> you're right. Give, <laughs> give, give Ricky a Murphy break. a call at 662-321-9824. At 662-321-9824. Adam, as I mentioned again to you, my summer home is also my fall, winter, and spring home. <laughs> as all it is together. For me. Yes, yes, for sure. <laughs> Uh, it is with the basketball now as they're working around the perimeter. Standiford has checked into the contest here for ICC. Back up top, he wants to pull the trigger on a three. That one left a little short and tried to save it before it goes out of bounds and instead bounces it on the in, inbounds line and it will go back to Pearl River. Well, Jim, 6.55 to go in this one again. You just want to see the Indians find something positive. Just fight, try to finish this game with some strong notes to take in the next week. No doubt about it. You keep fighting. 640 left in the ball game. Pearl River with the ball up by 30 points. We're playing better this half. We're hitting the boards better. Just got to keep fighting here. Thought about the long two. Now they step into it. Jumpers up in and good as that was J.D. Allen. I want to give credit to where credit's due. You know, a lot of times we kind of just talk about when teams aren't doing what they're supposed to. But Pearl River, they're, they're basically waiting for 10 seconds before they go into their offensive set. They're not chunking up threes left and right. They're 
trying to get some go through their offense and kind of get some guys that maybe need some uh, work later on in the season, get some work in this one when they have the opportunity. No doubt about it, Adam. And their demeanor on the court, they're not showing bad attitudes. They're not rubbing it in. They're up big on us, but they're playing hard, playing good, solid basketball. So inside six minutes now as that shot's off the mark, no good. Rock Robinson rips the rebound there for the Indians. Mosley with it. Over to Barry. Stanford into the corner to Rock. Rock's three is off the mark, no good, and the rebound pulled down by Pearl River. Jim, at the end of the day, that's what got it started for Pearl River, and that's what's making it happen for Pearl River is the fact that they have just dominated the offensive and uh, really all the rebounding. They have, no doubt about it. Mosley's finger roll is up in and good. Makes it 75-45 now here with 5.15 to go in the contest. Before we get too much further into the night, we do want to say congratulations to Jeff Gray, who is the shot clock operator down there on the scores table for ICC. He has been named Teacher of the Year down at Itawamba HS. Good buddy of mine. And there's a shot put up in and good for Steen, but yeah, Jeff. Proud of Jeff. Yeah, Outstanding guy. individual. Does a lot of good things for the community, mm -hmm. especially for the college and uh, of course his school. He got honored. Congratulations to Jeff. So a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way here as Steen got that basket to fall. He's one of those guys that just came off of COVID protocol for the Indians and knew that he would have limited minutes tonight and playing with the mask on. And again, our thoughts and well wishes for a speedy recovery for members of the Lady Wildcat squad. That's why ICC and Pearl River are not playing in women's action tonight as there's going to be a reach-in foul here on the Indians as, you know, you, you want to play them all, but at the end of the day, it's all about keeping everybody healthy and not chancing anything there. So we do wish well for those uh, down there at Pearl River. And we hope, you know, unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be part of the next maybe month of basketball where things like this is going to happen. You're right, Adam. You just have to adjust. You have to do the best you can do and just adjust and roll with it. There was a three-point basket by J.D. Allen that bounced around and finally spun through to fall for the Wildcats. We talked about the rebounding edge. They are dominating the three-point shooting as well. Standiford forces it over to the side and it's a bad pass, goes out of bounds, and we'll go back to Pearl River. We do hope anyone that's watching or listening here, if you're out on the road the next couple of days, give yourself a little extra time as it's going to be cold. and It could get a little messy over the next few days. As the ball on the floor, and it's still loose, and it's going to be out of bounds. Oh, hold everything. We don't need that. As... Got a little tangled up there, and players kind of took exception to it there. Good job by their teammates, both from Pearl River and ICC, to kind of step in between the two, and the referees jumped in there as well to kind of calm things down. Good job of both teams, and we're still hustling, hitting the floor for the balls. I like our effort, Adam. So Pearl River has it. 3.45 to play. Drives inside, pull-up jumpers off the mark, no good. Rebound tipped out and controlled by the Indians. That was Thompson who grabbed the rebound for ICC. Mosley with it now, wants to drive inside. Nothing there to Robinson, back to Mo Excuse me, that was Steen back to Robinson. His three-pointer is off the mark, no good. And another rebound ripped down by Pearl River. And a blocking foul there, good call. As Stanford tried to come in and make the play, just couldn't quite get set quick enough to get the call. Substitutions coming into the game here. This substitution being brought to you by Renaissance Bank. Visit rewardsextra.com to learn more about Renaissance Bank's reward extra checking accounts. That They offer things like roadside assistance, cell phone insurance, over 400,000 discounts along with the Renaissance great rates and great service and so much more. That's rewardsextra.com. 
Never established possession in the front court as it came off his hands into the back court. Three minutes of play in this one. Pearl River trying to be patient and then taking away. Fred Cleveland Jr. comes away with the loose ball. So he's going to march it into the front court, pulls an NBA range three. That one halfway down, no good. Steen with the rebound. Gets it out to Standiford, and now they're going to reset. Adam Steen's come off the bench and played very well for us tonight. Standiford back to Cleveland. To Robinson baseline. Inside they go. Oh, got to make a better pass yep. than that. Just one of those throwing a little bit too hard, trying to get it inside quickly to Steen. And the turnover gives it back to the Wildcats. Three-pointer well off the mark, no good. Tried to save it inbounds, and there's Cleveland to able to reel that one in. Cleveland to Robinson for three, yes. That one rattles his way in as timeout on the floor, 2.14 to go here. We'll take the timeout with them and hear from Renaissance Bank and be back with more right after this. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24-7 roadside assistance, a cell phone protection plan worth up to $400, $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle, and a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. Today tastes like a home game. Like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat. And like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team. And it never tasted this good. And welcome back out of that timeout being brought to you by Davis Ford. Stop by 904 West Main Street right here in Fulton to experience the Davis Ford difference. DavisFordAutoSales.com. Inside the go, layup is good. Nice feed, good finish as that was Preston Turner who got the basket to fall. A crowd favorite there is his teammates. Got a big cheer over there when he was able to get the points on the board. He just got in the ball game first time tonight, made the big shot. Thompson with the basketball, trying to drive inside. Good defense by the Wildcats to take it away. Fred Cleveland Jr. with it now. He's trying to drive inside. Nothing there. Standiford wants the three. That one back iron, no good. And the rebound ripped down by Pearl River. We've got a minute and a half to go before this one is final. So let's go ahead and start moving into our Renaissance Bank postgame report. And Mr. Jim, give me your thoughts on tonight's game. Well, Adam, we knew we were playing a good team. And uh, they came out and showed they were a very yes. good team. They, let's be honest, they're better than us right now. They played extremely well. We didn't play our best game. I am impressed that we have hustled and not given up, but it's been all Pearl River tonight. They're the better team tonight, and that's why they have like a 30-point lead here at the end of the ball game. Yeah, and they set the tone early. They came out, they hit the shots, but I think the biggest difference early on that got momentum in their way was their offensive rebound. They would miss, I think, their first six shots, but they would score off six offensive rebounds. ICC, it was at midway through the second half before they got their first offensive board. So this is going to be one of those Pearl River uh, coaches go back and say, guys, this is the effort we want on rebounding because this is what can happen. No doubt about it. It's a rebound, and as you mentioned, we didn't have an offensive rebound until the second half. And the Pearl River will give them a lot of credit. They're a good basketball team. They also heated up from outside from three. That's something ICC really hasn't done a lot of tonight. Is that free throw is no good. So just an all-around great game by Pearl River. And we're not citing the defense. Yes, ICC had an off night tonight, but the defense was a lot of that problem as well as Pearl River really came in and shut the Indians down defensively. 79-51, Pearl River's up. ICC has the ball, 50 seconds left in the ball game. Again, we invite you to come back and join us Monday night as we'll have basketball action coming your way here on the Red Channel. Rock Robinson wants the three. Yes. Long three knocked down there by Rock. We encourage you to visit letsgoicc.com tomorrow to see some of the final scoring. Got away with a little bit of a double dribble, but this late in the ball game, yeah, they're yeah, going to let, let it go. go. No doubt about it. 
Fred Cleveland Jr., he's going to drive inside. His jumper well off the mark, no good. Rebound ripped down there for Pearl River, and that's going to do it. We'd like to thank tonight's sponsors, Renaissance Bank, Davis Ford, Sonica Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, Little Caesars, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, Cagle Life Center, the Bank of Oklahoma, the ICC Foundation and Alumni Association, the ICC BSU, Tommy Morgan Real Estate Agent Ricky Murphy, Max Home, Sam Town Market, and the ICC Wesley Foundation. We mentioned ICC will be back in action Monday night when the Lady Indians play host to Cahoma in a big-time conference matchup there in that one. Your final score from Fulton, the Indians fall 81-54. to Remember, for updates on all 11 of ICC's intercollegiate athletic programs, visit letsgoicc.com and follow Let's Go ICC on your favorite social media platform. So for Jim Ingram, Lee Adams, and Raphael Henry, I'm Adam Gore. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of ICC Athletics. So long from Fulton. As we mentioned, where your Indians fall to 7-3 on the season with an 81-54 loss to Pearl River. Have a blessed evening, and as always, Roll Tribe. Playing on tour takes years of dedication, hours of practice, focused precision, and nerves of steel. That's how you become great at the game, but not how you should bank. That's why Ali Ewing chose Renaissance Bank. Their easy to use app makes banking a breeze, no matter where she is. Renaissance Bank, understanding you.